In today's video, I'm basically gonna tell you what trends to avoid wasting your money on because you will be stuck with those clothes and you will never wear them again. They're gonna be at the bottom of your closet. And I'm gonna tell you what to buy instead of those clothes so you can keep wearing them forever and ever and ever. Good? I know you've been seeing this all over Instagram. They're the cute pattern like halter tops and you tie them in the back. Yes, they look really cute, but do you guys remember that summer? I think it was like 2018, we were all wearing halter tops and then we never saw them ever again until like now. Yeah, it's definitely going to be like a one summer thing. I would advise against them because especially the pattern ones, patterns are already tricky. Like I hate buying patterns because they always go in and out of style, but especially if they're patterned, like if that pattern goes out of style, then you're screwed because you will never ever wear that again even if halter tops come back. I know that these are a little bit basic, but we're going back to basics. These racer back mini like crop tops, these will never go out of style. These will be in forever and ever because it's just a basic, it's just a staple item. It's not something that kind of can go out of style. It's a plain shirt. I think I got these off Amazon and it came in a set of three, like one black, one nude, and one white. I've been wearing them nonstop because they literally go with every single outfit, especially if I'm in a rush, in a hurry, like I don't wanna deal with anything. I can just throw this on and they will never let me down. And I think it looks better on me than halter tops. I feel like halter tops kind of make Make my shoulders look a lot more like manly. First trend debunked. Number two, I don't know what this pattern is called. I don't even know if it has a pattern. I'm just gonna call it the House of Sunny pattern. They're really nice. I will admit it, very nice. Will it be around next year? Don't think so. Because think about it, when has a pattern ever stuck around? Unless it's a floral. Literally never. Literally never. Maybe like silk, but that's not really a pattern. It's more of like a texture. Silk dresses have been in for like years and I don't think that they're gonna be going out anytime soon. And that's why I think it's better to invest in a floral or a slip-on in the silk dress rather than those really nice like abstract pattern dresses that you see on Pinterest now because mm, you're not gonna find them cute next year. I think those are gonna be the outfits that you look back on and you're gonna be like, what the hell was I wearing? Keep in mind while I'm bashing on these trends, don't get me wrong, I like them. I think that they're super nice and cute. Like I would love to own them. I'm just trying to think from future nails perspective rather than current nail because I don't wanna embarrass Future Nail, you know what I mean? I got this dress from Princess Polly, I think in 2000, either 17 or 18, and I've been able to wear it every single summer since. I think what's important to understand here is that these huge corporations, they literally design trends so they go in and out of style like really, really fast, so they can come out with new pieces, make you think that those are the new trends, so you buy them, they earn more money, and then they're like, uh, oh, never mind. we don't like the style of clothing, it's out of style. That's literally how this whole entire shebang works. And you're just stuck like on a loop. You're like, oh, this is out of style, gotta buy the new one. Oh, this is out of style, gotta buy the new one. That's why I think it's better to build a basic essential closet and buy a few extravagant pieces that can bring in a whole look together rather than building your entire wardrobe off of that season's trend because you will have nothing in your closet by the end of the season. Like I said, these babies will never go out of style. You can catch me wearing a floral dress from now, I think till 2030, and it'll be fine. Invest in some nice floral dresses and silk ones. I think, I really think that silk will stay because silk's an amazing fabric and I think we will never stop using that. I will have to say that I've given into this tie cardigan trend. I have purchased quite a few pieces of the same thing, but in different colors because of how much I liked it. Now looking back at it, I wish I hadn't. Do I still wear these pieces? Yes. Do I like that I wear them? No. But I only wear them because I don't have anything else to wear. Let me show you what I'm talking about. The cute little cardigans with the tie. Come on guys, I think we could do a little bit better. Like, I don't know, this is giving me very much, I'm 12 years old and I just got this from Forever 21 vibes. I still wear these shirts because Sometimes I just need a small cardigan, but then I just realized why don't I just buy a stupid small cardigan instead of wearing these shirts that I don't even like, but I have to wear them because LA weather got me tripping. It'll be hot, but not 
hot enough to just go out in a tank top so I need to bring like a small little jacket but I also don't want to bring like a whole ass jacket because I don't want to carry that around in the heat but I also got to keep my like shoulders covered sometimes because they can get cold and that's when I just throw one of these on but then every time before I leave the house wearing one of these I'm like oh I hate that I'm wearing this shirt I hate that I'm wearing this jacket don't don't do that don't do what I did I think these have been out of style for like a couple months I'm just holding on to them for some reason. Instead of buying those, first buy these bind-ups. Great investment or steal them from your dad because you can do that and it's free. People have been wearing button-ups as jackets since the freaking 1990s. I think you're good. I think you will be fine. And honestly, even if it is out of style, I like it. I kind of like this laid back Grandpa Ralph vibe. Or if you're not really like into Grandpa Ralph, you could get, instead of buying those ones that like tie, you can just buy like a cropped cardigan. I've been wearing this a lot more than I've been wearing those because I think this is a little bit cuter, a little bit more elegant, and a little bit more, how do I say this, womanly? I mean, can't really talk about womanly when I look like this right now, but <laughs> I just feel like that is giving me very much, I'm 12 years old vibes. While this is giving me more like, I could pass as like 16. I, I personally just like this better because it has buttons and it's a little bit more of like an actual cardigan. If you don't like that, you can buy like these. This is just like a knit cropped cardigan. Oh. What the frick just happened? Oh. Cardigans I think will always be in style because they're just thin jackets that you need. It's not really something that you can just forget about and be like, mm. I don't like them because if it's summer, you're not gonna wear a thick ass jacket. You're gonna have to wear a cardigan. What is that called? Here, let's see if I can remember econ right now. It is called inelastic demand. Yeah. This is, this is, this is what you actually need to buy. Just get this because you wear it all the time once you start owning it. It is literally just a white, kind of see-through, loose-fitting button-up. This is my summer savior. This will literally fit any occasion because during the summer, you're very much like chill and you're laid back. This is why you need this. I can wear this night, day, you could wear it as a cover-up. You could wear it as a, sh like this. This is a really cute outfit, like a tank top and then a jacket overneath. You could tie it. It's just, there's so many things you could do with a white, button up like this and I got this from forever 21 from like the men's section go get this like right now what are you doing what are you doing the next trend that we're talking about are those mesh shirts I don't own any to show you guys uh -huh. but I can pull up some pictures obviously as I have been these will not last I'm telling you right now they're not gonna last y'all remember that phase we had with what was it dolls kill we were wearing those like mesh angel shirts how long did that last like three months not even don't buy them don't buy them they're literally just no they're no I don't even like them I don't even think they look good don't get them just don't it's gonna end up in the bottom of your closet and you're never gonna wear it ever again You're gonna look at it and you're gonna be like what the hell was I thinking? Wearing this I will also add patchwork into this category Absolute no What the hell are we doing? Come on guys like let's pick up the pace We can't be sticking around with these foolish ass patterns and textures. No No Instead of buying those mesh long sleeves, you could go for like, when I say mesh, I also don't mean like the fishnet mesh, I mean like mesh mesh, like mesh. <laughs> Instead of getting those, you could get like mesh see-through, kind of like metallic looking button-ups. I know that those have been around since like the 2000s because I've seen photos of my mom wearing those type of shirts. So they're gonna be around. I think mesh is kind of the same thing as silk in that sense where that fabric is never gonna go out of style because we just use it so much. So I think those see-through kind of mesh materials and fabrics, they're definitely gonna be in. And you can wear those mesh metallic-y button-ups um, the same way that you can wear these white button-ups. There's so many ways to style them and what's really great is that you can dress them up and down. This is really great because I got some visual examples for you for my visual learners out there. All right, see this pattern? It's cute, right now it is. Right now, 
I think this is super cute. I would totally see some girl on Pinterest wearing this and be like, oh my god, I kind of want those pants. Like, I like them. This is some shit that you would see on like Jaded London that you want to like buy, right? This is, this is cute. Will I find this cute by the end of the year? Probably not. Because, hear me out, it is a pattern. This has definitely got some like acid wash, whatever's happening. It's got some like funky pattern, right? Yes, it's cute right now, but patterns, like I said, go in and out super, super fast. Do you guys remember acid wash jeans? Like the light blue acid wash, like, no, that lasted a year and that was it. We never saw them ever again. It's gonna be the same thing with these pants. So, instead of buying those funky pattern pants, what you could invest in are just plain basic pant suits or like pants, like trousers almost. For example, these, they're plain purple pants. I guess they've got like some details on it, but like essentially they're plain purple pants. And I don't think these will ever go out of style because Purple's a color. Yes, there's a chance that purple won't be the color of the season, but that doesn't mean like people are gonna stop wearing purple. Same with these, they're just plain black trousers with stripes on them. They're not gonna go out of style. It's just how it works. Pantsuits are always gonna be in style. Pantsuits are always gonna be around. They're always gonna be worn by everyone. You can't go wrong with them. I think like the literal moral of this video is don't buy trends, buy the basic version of the trend. By basic, I don't mean like, oh, she's so basic. By basic, I mean like simple and essential. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's the moral of the story. The last trend we are going to debunk or, you know, convince you guys to not purchase are corsets. I know they make your boobies look good. I know you like them. Yes, you can buy them on Amazon for like 20 bucks. I think we're literally in this phase because of like Bridgerton. Honey, it's not gonna last. Bridgerton's gonna be out of style in a year and you're gonna be looking back at your photos and being like, why the hell was I wearing a freaking corset at 80 degrees weather? what was happening, like what was going through my mind, because that's what you're gonna think. Trust me, I've done this way too many times. Like I know it's gonna happen. Instead of buying those corsets, I would invest in one of these tops because A, they've been around for more than three years and I think that's enough proof to show that it will stay around for another three. And it kind of still gives that like 19th century romance vibe, like the top cut of it, the little bow, like I just, it gives you that same vibe. You get that same aesthetic, but with a shirt that's never gonna go out of style, that you are always going to wear. Don't get me wrong, I do think that this shirt is not really like currently in style right now. I'm talking about the frame of the shirt, like the actual, design of the shirt this is going to be in style this this cut this this shape i just think it's a little bit more practical yes practical so those are all the trends that i think you guys should absolutely avoid because you will be feeling really guilty by the end of the season for spending so much of your money on these clothing items that you are probably never ever going to wear again you see these girl scout cookies at the bottom of the frame i'm gonna go eat them now so i love you have fun, stay safe, bye guys.